Hey all, this is Shubanka here from Quantsapp. So as we had looked into the PCR tool uh, in the previous PCR video, so today we'll look into the next section of the PCR tool, which is OIPCRH. So the OIPCRH is like resembling open interest PCR historical. So it is showing us the historical data of PCR for each and every instrument listed under FNOs. So now why is it necessary to have a look upon the OI PCR, uh, historic PCR? Because uh, we never know like uh, a single data point can't give us a very concrete, I would say, indication. So for that matter, OI PCR edge can be used as a reference point to check for an instrument where an ideal PCR lies in what regime an ideal PCR lies for an instrument. So now uh, let's say a nifty. So I would say that ideal PCR uh, it's in the range from 0 0.95 up till uh, 1.3 or 4. But that might not be the case for Reliance. That might not be the case for TCS. Each and every instrument has its own different regime of PCR. So for that matter, I'll come on to PCR tool. So it is showing us the day on day historic PCR wherein the green bars are highlighting as the PCR the green line are showing me the historic PCR on what day how much the PCR was wherein the yellow line on the graph is showing us the future price so it can be used as a reference to check whether uh, is it going out of the regime and you, then you might expect a reversal like in case of uh, nifty so if graph is if we are finding the graph pretty much difficult uh, to understand uh, we also have the tabular view wherein i'll get to see on what day how much the oi pcr was and how the future price re reacted towards it so 1.19 was the pcr on 2nd of march future price was 14958 on 3rd of march pcr actually went up up till 1.4 and the future price was 15,298 in nifty and similarly as the PCR took the cooler down approach so I can see it's like 1.394 it had an impact on nifty's future price as well so which not might be the case for scripts as well so for that reason to come on to a conclusion one should actually refer to the historic data to take a point of reference and also you can Take the lowest point that's 0 0.89 and the highest point of PCR in Nifty over the recent times was 1.88. Similarly, if I want to increase the look back data, even that can be done. So let's say if I want to check the PCR since 1st of Jan 2020, how it has been. So I can do that way around as well. So it is now showing us the data since 1st of January 2020 up till the current time how the historic PCR has been taking shifts and how the future price is reacting accordingly so yeah that was it from the OI PCR edge so thank you all for joining me up till here we do post similar sort of content regularly on YouTube so to stay notified whenever we post something you can hit the subscribe and the bell icon and also you can refer Quantsap to one of your friends in that case for each and every successful refer you would receive 100 rupees reward points in your Quantsap account and your friend receives 500 rupees reward points in his Quantsap account which although can use for further purchases made in Quantsap application. Thank you. See you all in the next video.